Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with a quick lighting tutorial in uh, Lumion 8, which uh, you guys actually have been uh, asking for. So I've set up a couple of models in here, applied a simple Lumion 8 uh, native uh, material to it for our demonstration uh, today. So let's quickly uh, have a look at the types of uh, lights we have in uh, Lumion 8. You can find them in the lights and uh, utilities library. The first tab, you can find uh, all, the, all the spotlights. Second uh, tab, light fill and the Omni light. And the third, area light and the line light. We will start with uh, our Omni lights first, or a light fill. These lights are actually uh, very similar. With this slider, you can bring the, the brightness up. And with the fall-off slider, you can choose the distance from, uh, from the light source. Up here, you can change the color of our light. Moving on to second type of uh, a light, which is area or line light. We'll switch it on. Once again, you can choose uh, your color of your light up here. You can switch on or off your light source and you can uh, night activate your lights uh, as well. You can adjust the, the width or the length of your light to change the, the size or, or shape of your light and distance from, from your light source with the fall off slider as well. Now we have uh, one more button down here called uh, target lights. With this button you can choose the exact location where you want your light to be pointing at. Moving on to our third type of light and that is uh, a spotlight. So let's turn it on. Once again, change color up here. Uh, with the cone angle slider, you can adjust the size and the shape of your uh, spotlight. Show light source uh, on and off, same buttons and night activations on off and random, same buttons like uh, on the previous light. Uh, these buttons are new, only specific for, for the spotlights. You can choose your shadows to be medium or high quality. And the last button is the same button as uh, in, uh, in the area lights. Uh, targeting uh, uh, lights. Now let's quickly have a look how these type of lights react with the materials in Lumion 8. I'll just bring the brightness down so we can focus on our first Omni light. When I bring the, the brightness of the Omni light up you can see what it actually does. It spreads in all directions and it travels through the material and it spills out of our model. At the same time, it changes the brightness of the material. So we'll just move it back down and bring the, the area light up. You can spot already uh, the difference between these two lights. In uh, area light, the, the brightness of the material doesn't change. The light still travels through the material and spills out of the model, but it doesn't light up the material. Let's compare these, uh, these two. Now, as you can see, that's the difference. The light will uh, spill out of the model in both cases, but in here, it will not light up the, the material. Our last type of light, the spotlight. Let's switch these two off so it's easier to, uh, to see the difference. Now, as you can see with the spotlight, the light seems to spill through the material outside uh, of our model. But when I select it, it disappears. Well, in this case, we have to go to effect settings and choose the global illumination effect. 
in here we switch off uh, or on actually this button which gives us the preview of the spotlight with the preview on with the preview on you can see the spotlight doesn't spill out of our model and it doesn't travel through the material if we switch it off it looks like or appears that it goes through but since you uh, selected the global illumination in your final render the light will stay within your model so let's move on to our second uh, set of models now in here I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how the lights behave when you have objects in your uh, in your model so the first two types of lights like I said they travel through the material and they will not cast shadows as you can see we have uh, objects in uh, both of these lights we have a chair and the chair does not cast shadow it doesn't matter if I change the brightness simply these two lights do not cast shadows now our third light as you can see as soon as I select it you can see the shadow under the chair or any object in uh, Lumion 8 that you select when you change the cone angle and basically also the size of of the light the shadow changes as well it goes from a soft shadow when you have a really wide angle <coughs> light to really sharp uh, concentrated shadow from uh, from the spotlight once again I remind you you have to have your global illumination on for the objects in Lumion 8 and in your models to cast shadows now last example in here that we have and that is moving objects in Lumion let's select the light and bring up the brightness as you can see our object is casting shadow but the shadow is static now we have a moving object you have to go to shadows option in um, in the light properties and switch static into dynamic and there you go immediately the static shadows uh, shadow changes into dynamic and if you move or animate your uh, your objects in your model the shadows will follow them and that's all I have for you today so thanks for watching stay well and stay creative